is Lisa coming to you from my craft room. Thought I would give you a little bit of an update on what I've been doing for the last probably week and a half. Hmm. To be honest, probably a lot of it last night just so I'd have enough done to <laughs> do another video. Oh, I'm a procrastinator. But acknowledging it is half the battle. So anyway, last time I showed you the hideous green tray. So it's not so hideous anymore. I just painted it brown. Uh, planning on maybe putting a little bit of antiquing gel on it once I can get outside and work a little bit. I try not to do too many fumes inside my um, house with all my birds. I don't want any of them to keel over. So I did um, get my little, my plan was to put my little buttermilk basin um Sorry, I guess I can't hold that up. Uh, I have my little buttermilk basin piece that I just put some borders on. So the plan has been to try to have it coming off of the tray a little bit. And then when I was at um, the thrift store a couple of weeks ago, I found some really cute tulips. And at an estate sale, I found a little watering can. Isn't that sweet? So I decided to um, put some new flowers in that. And uh, so the little watering can will go in the corner. And then I have a little bunny. And then I have a little basket. I got this at the thrift store. It was like a dollar or two and it just looks so old. I was real excited about that purchase. And then in the basket, I have one of my grandma's doilies just coming out of the, the edge. Oh, she did perfect work. One thing I've never really gotten into, she tried to teach me a little bit and I just wasn't, wasn't grasping it. But maybe one day I'll try to do some so I can be like her. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's how my little tray is um, shaping up. Kind of excited about that. So I think that's going to go on my dining room table. So that's one thing done. Check. <laughs> I worked on my wool quilt, my wool applique quilt by Bonnie Sullivan. It has a lot of birds and chicks and a bunny. All kinds of cute stuff right up my alley. I have to confess, when I was making these half square triangles I was squaring them up and I was like taking such a small fraction off and I thought oh I'm just not I was impatient and I thought I'm not gonna keep doing that I'll just wing it well big mistake folks if it says to square it off square it off because when it's a a pattern like this where your intersect intersections matter it's a bummer because see how my stuff isn't lining up here big mistake. Impatience is not a good thing. So, but that is what it is. So either I'm going to put some doilies over the intersections that seriously bug me or a yo-yo or I don't know, but I'm not going to take them all apart and square them up. It doesn't bug me that much. <laughs> I'm not really a, much of a perfectionist. I'm not at all a perfectionist. So, I like to see my nice points once in a while, but I like to look at it as an overall quilt. So to me, I think it'll just be fine. If it's a really obvious place, I might put a, bo a doily or something on it, but I think it'll be okay. I've got a little bit more um, blanket stitching I have to get done and some stem st stitching, and I gotta give them some feet. <laughs> um, then there's a little button kit that comes with it so like on the little cart there's a big white button and then there's a button for the bunny's eye so anyway but that I'm going to put on after I quilt it so I don't get snagged up on it but so anyway I like the way it's turning out uh, I did work on my Lizzie Kate I got it fully finished. 
My plan was just to cut a piece of barn wood to put it on. And when I was at Joann's the other day buying floss on the sale day, I saw this little wooden plaque. And I thought, hey, it's like, it was for, I could, had a 40% off coupon, so I think it came to like three something. And I didn't have to cut it or didn't have to go out in the garage. It was ready to go. So I wanted to put jute on as a bow, but for some reason I couldn't find it in my messy craft room. Oh gosh, I need to get organized. I need a pill <laughs> that will want, make me want to organize. Mm. Do they sell that? I don't know. But I just um, put it on sticky board and then did another layer of sticky board with just some burlap on it. And just a simple little bow. I'm excited about it. Um, after I bought this, um, it was a kit. After I bought it, I wasn't really excited about it. But it was funny, I was at an LNS and the lady had to actually come from an office next door to kind of watch the shop while somebody was in there. I guess they were about to go out of business so they didn't have somebody manning the store all the time. And so I'd been there for a while and it was my first trip back to an LNS in like 25 years. So of course I was like looking at everything and I had no idea what I wanted to do. But then it, I had been there for a little while and I felt like I have to buy something and I have to get out of here because I felt so uncomfortable. I felt like I was holding her up. So I ended up, I got this because it was the kit and I had everything in it that I needed except floss. And I thought, you'll be set. But then I didn't like the fabric that it was on. Long story short. But this was never like really screaming to me to get finished. Um, but I'm, I, ha I like it now that it's done. So that was that. Uh, I did get to go to a different LNS on Wednesday and got to see a lot of the market stuff. Gosh, that was fun. So, um, I ended up, I got what I think most people have been purchasing. Um, I got a lot of uh, Brenda Gervais. So, and I know you've seen these on a lot of um, different sites and whatnot. So, I'll try not to linger on them too long and bore you. Oh, how do I get rid of the glare? Um, but this is a uh, blessed bee. Super cute. I like the bee and this little, um, this little design here. I thought that would even be cute on some little tiny piece all by itself with just like the bee skeeps. So anyway, love that. Um, I got Indigo Lane by Brenda Gervais. And... I went through and I was looking at some of the fancy floss, as Chelsea calls it, and the colors that really seemed to make a difference, that seemed substantially variegated, I did get those. So I think there was like three or four. And then the other colors I plan on just converting to DMC. So I kind of looked up those charts a little bit the other day and made out a list and then tried to hit the Joanne sale because they had it on sale on Saturday. So... Got a little bit of that done. Uh, I jumped on the bandwagon and like everyone else and got the um, little farm farmhouse Christmas. But I, I'm thinking about instead of doing it in a Christmas theme, I thought about just doing uh, a brown roof and then instead of snow doing um, grass. Just for something a little bit different. I don't, I'm not totally into ornaments yet. It could happen at any moment, but Right at this point, I don't really anticipate doing a whole lot of ornaments for my tree. And so I thought, well, if I put that with more of a summer theme, uh, I could put it in my little metal three-tier tray. I thought that would be cute. So that is my plan for that. And then I got another Brenda Gervais that wasn't new this year. I think it was from last year. But it was so sweet. I just love that bunny. So... I got that, and I didn't even try to convert the colors. I just went into Joann's on a different day and uh, 
I just grabbed colors that I liked. So um, the LNS that I went to, Little Creek Needleworks, it's in Canton, Ohio, excuse me. And um, she had a little piece of 18 count brown Ada. So um, I decided to try, try it on that. And I didn't even really know what I was doing. I, I did the um, cart doing two threads over one. And it's just really bulky. I was getting so bummed out because as hard as I was trying, I, I wasn't getting pretty stitches. And it was really starting to bug me. And then while I was getting my oil changed today, I decided to try the little chick um, with just one strand of thread. And it looks so much cuter. It's not near as bulky. And my stitches look pretty good. So I don't think I'm going to rip that out. I'm just going to go with it. And then at the very end, if I really hate it, but I doubt it. I'm not a ripper outer. I'm either a start over person or just go with it. So, But I don't think it looks hideous or anything. It's just not my favorite. But I'm excited. That's got that going. Been working on that a little bit in the evening. I haven't worked on my disappearing pinwheel. I was hoping to get um, some other blocks cut out with that, but I haven't got that far yet. So possibly today if I feel creative. I haven't been feeling very creative lately. I don't know what my deal is. I did. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a coffee kind of day. And not by coffee, but uh, coffee kind of day. Um, gosh, that was cheesy. I wish I knew how to edit. <laughs> okay, so back on track. I got to go to that stamping uh, weekend a couple weekends ago and had a really good time. Got to hang out with Loretta, my friend, and um, got to know Amanda and Marjorie a little bit better. So that was fun. Got to meet a new girl. There, one of their friends, Dorothy. What a sweetheart. Got to um, know her a little bit more. And she um, she came to the stamping weekend, but she um, was either in the process of moving or had just moved. And so all of her stamping stuff was all packed away. So she brought her punch needle. Oh, boy. So... I already have the needle and I think I had done maybe one or two projects and I think I gave them away. So I didn't even really remember whether I liked it or not. I must not have loved it because I didn't do another piece, but anyhow, I already have the needle. So I'm going to try to get some um, weaver's cloth or whatever you're supposed to use. I've been looking on Pinterest and pinning things like crazy, so... That's going to be my next thing because I needed another hobby, I thought. <laughs> Anyhow, why am I out of focus? Okay, so I thought I'd share with you a few of the little cards that I made while I was there. I didn't do scrapbooking. I just did cards. And my goal was to get a stash um, of a variety of different kinds of cards so that if an occasion came up, I could just hurry and jot some notes down for someone and just get it off in the mail. So I did get a few cards made and I tried to make um, some duplicates of all of them. Sorry. Um, I did one with little bugs on it. I thought it was cute. Uh, I used to be a Stampin' Up! De uh, demonstrator, so I have a lot of, a lot of my stamp sets are from Stampin' Up! So... I did some birthdays, and I got to use, uh, this punch was a Martha Stewart punch for the edging. I like the way it turned out. It looks like I'm getting close to my 15-minute, um, did I show that one already? But anyway, so I have a little bit of stuff ready to go. I'm hoping to... I used to send cards out so often, and I, I think that's a good ministry, so I want to get back into that. So send me your address. Maybe I'll get your card out to you. <laughs> hope you have a blessed day, and I hope you find all the fun things to do. Bye.